Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. This is year seven of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoyed the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a transcript can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17verses.com. Today's selection is from Surah 2, Al-Baqarah, verses 40 through 59. These verses deal with Allah's covenant with the children of Israel, how God delivered them from Pharaoh and their trials and tribulations afterwards. This includes the periods when they worshipped the calf, repented, and then questioned the Lord again. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. O children of Israel, remember my favors which I bestowed upon you. Fulfill your covenant with me, and I will fulfill my covenant with you, and fear none but me. Believe in my revelations, which are confirming your scriptures. Do not be the first one to deny my revelations, and do not sell them for a petty price. Fear me, and me alone. Do not mix the truth with falsehood, or knowingly conceal the truth. Establish prayers, give charity, and bow down with those who bow down in worship. Would you ask others to be righteous, and forget to practice it yourselves? Even though you read your holy book, have you no sense? Seek Allah's repentance with patience and prayer. It is indeed hard to be punctual in offering prayer, except for those who fear Allah, who are certain in their mind that they are going to meet their Lord, and that they are going to return to Him for final judgment. O children of Israel, remember my favors which I bestowed upon you, that I preferred you to all other nations of your time for my message. Guard yourselves against this day, on which one soul shall not avail another, nor intercession shall be accepted, no ransom shall be taken, and no help shall be given. Remember when we delivered you from the people of Pharaoh. They had subjected you to severe torment, killing your sons and sparing your daughters. You were facing a tremendous trial from your Lord. And when we parted the sea for you, taking you to safety, and drowned Pharaoh's people before your very eyes, Remember when we made an appointment of forty nights with Moses. In his absence you took the calf for worship, thus committing a wicked transgression. Even then we forgave you, so that you might become grateful. Remember when we gave Moses the holy book, the Torah, and the criterion of right and wrong, so that you might be rightly guided. Remember when Moses returned with the divine book, he said to his people, O my people, You have indeed grievously wronged yourselves by taking the calf for worship. So turn in repentance to your Creator and slay the culprits among you. That will be best for you in His sight. He accepted your repentance. Surely He is the forgiving, the merciful. Remember when you said, O Moses, we shall never believe you until we see Allah with our own eyes. A thunderbolt struck you while you were looking on and you fell dead. Then we raised you up after your death so that you might be grateful. We even provided you the shade of clouds and sent down to you sweet dishes and quail's meat, saying, Eat of the good things we have provided for you. In spite of these favors, your forefathers violated our commandments. However, by violating our commandments, they did not harm us, but they harmed their own souls. Remember when we said, Enter this town and eat whatever you wish to your heart's content. Make your way through the gates with humility, saying, We repent. We shall forgive you your sins, and we shall increase the provisions for the righteous among you. But the wrongdoers changed our words from that which they were asked to say. So we sent down a scourge from heaven as a punishment for their transgressions. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. 
The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.